Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a preview of the work in progress Tier 7 Canadian Destroyer Huron. Each MCS Huron was a tribal class destroyer that served in the Royal Canadian Navy in the Second World War and the Korean War. She was the first ship to bear this name entering service in 1943 and Huron is named after the indigenous folk of North America, the Huron people. Now during the Second World War, Huron saw extensive service along the French coast in support of the invasion of Normandy and later escorted convoys to the Soviet Union. So let's start by taking a full look at the ship's stats, starting with the upgrades and captain skills. So we can see that Huron comes Fully upgraded, it is premium ship. The upgrades I'm using and what this build is based on. Main armaments, engine room protection, aiming systems, and steering gears mod one. Ship charges, eight kilometer torpedoes, EG and AP. Consumable wise, Huron gets an engine boost, 8% speed boost, hydroacoustic search, and most importantly, a repair party, a tier 7. Very nice indeed. To the captain skills, I'm using Grease the Gears, Preventive Maintenance, Last Stand, Survivability Expert. Superintendent, Adrenaline Rush, Concealment Expert, and Fearless Brawler. No smoke screens on the Huron, so you can get full benefit from Fearless Brawler. So let's start with the armor. Pretty standard stuff for tier 7. 16mm plating, 19 on the deck. Here, 19mm side plating. This deck plating is all 19 millimeters. Same at the aft end deck, and the plating is 16 millimeters. While the superstructure is 10, and the turrets get an all round protection of 6 millimeters. That ties in directly to the hit points 18,150. And remember, this is reinforced by having three repair parties. Artillery, main artillery, three twin mounted 20mm guns with a 4.5 second reload speed. They can rotate 180 degrees in 15.7 seconds. Max dispersion of 100 meters and a max firing range of 12.3 kilometers. My explosive can inflict a max damage of 1900. 6% base fire chance, 20 millimeters of armor penetration, with a shell speed of 808 meters per second. Same goes for the armor piercing, exact same shell speed, with a max damage of 2100. Moving to the secondary battery. Yes, Huron does get a secondary battery. One twin mounted 102mm turret. Three second reload with a max firing range of 4.2 kilometers. 1500 max damage. 7% fire chance. 17 millimeters of penetration and a shell speed of 811 meters per second. Moving to the torpedoes, Huron gets one X4 launcher, you can see it here, centrally mounted for use on either side. It can rotate 180 degrees in 6 seconds, has a reload time of 96 seconds, firing range of 8 kilometers, with a max damage of 16,767. 62 knots of speed, and these torpedoes can be 
detected at 1.4 kilometers. These torpedoes can also be single, single fired. Moving to the depth charges, what stands out here immediately is the max damage of 5,000. Two charges, nine bombs per charge. So that's a potential of 45,000 damage per charge. Seems very high indeed. And a 40 second reload. Launchers are located here at the stern. In terms of AA defense, six twin mounted 20 millimeter guns, Orlikon Mark IIs, one quad mounted 40 millimeter, and the secondary battery also doubles up as AA. This equates to a continuous average damage of 72. The vast majority of which is short range and a max firing range of 5.8 kilometers. Does fire two flak explosions with a max damage of 1190. Maneuverability wise, max speed of 38.3 knots. That is with the speed flag see the base speed is 36.5 so you get max speed 38.3 this is further boosted by having an 8% speed boost you get well over 40 knots turning circle radius of 630 meters and a rudder shift time of 3 seconds concealment 6.2 kilometers by surface ships and 2.7 by submarines and by aircraft. So this is a quick little look at the Uron's ship stats. Now I must remind you the ship is still in testing. It is subject to change throughout the testing process but this is the current state. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to catch some live gameplay you can catch me on Twitch you can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.